year. Thank you. <laughs> With your help and support, you made this year fun and a successful year. Thank you to the craft and all brothers in the district for your support as well. And this has been a fantastic year and one that I will never forget. Thank you again. All right, there's no better way of saying thanks than being able to present an award to brothers who have been above and beyond uh, this year. Our first award this morning is a new award. Uh, this brother has been outstanding all year long. Since he was raised as a Master Mason, he has been a great and dedicated brother. Uh, I knew he had a passion and a strong interest in masonry from the beginning. So my brothers and guests, I want to congratulate our first award, our uh, Rookie of the Year, Brother Preston Weiss. be concerned in plots and conspiracies against the government, but patiently to submit to the law of the law and the constitutional authorities. I do. You agree to pay a proper respect to the silver magistrates, to work diligently, live credibly, 
and act honorably by all men. I do. You agree to hold in reverence the original ruler and patrons of the order of measure and their regular successors, supreme and subordinate, according to their stations and to submit to the awards and resolutions of your brethren and lodge convened in every case consequent with the constitutions of the order. I do. You agree to avoid all private peace and quarrels and guard against intemperance and excess. I do. You agree to be cautious in your behavior, courteous to your brethren, and faithful to your lodge. I do. You promise to respect genuine brethren and to discountenance and poverty <clears throat> and all of the centers from the original plan of masonry. I do. You agree to promote the general good of society, to cultivate these social virtues, and to teach the knowledge of the mystic art. I do. You promise to pay homage to the Grand Master for the time being and to his officer when duly installed, and strictly to conform to every edict of the Grand Lodge that is not subversive of the principles and groundwork of Masons. I do. You admit that it is not in the power of any man or body of men to make innovations in the body of Masons. I do. You promise a regular attendance on the committees and communications of the Grand Lodge are received in proper notice and to pay attention to all the duties of masonry on convenient locations. I do. You admit that no new lodge shall be formed without permission of the Grand Lodge and that no confidence to be given to any irregular lodge or to any person that definitely initiated therein, being contrary to the ancient charges of the order. I do. You admit that no, per no, one, no person can be regularly made a mason and are admitted a member of any regular lodge without previous notice and due inquiry into his character. I do. You agree that no visitors can be received into your lodge without due examination and producing proper vouchers of having been initiated into a regular lodge. I do. These are the regulations of free and accepted masons. Do you submit to these charges and promise to support these regulations as Masons and Masters have done and always do? <coughs> I do, and I will. Brother Tovar, in consequence of your performance to these charges and regulations of the order, you are now to be installed master of this lodge and full confidence of your care, skill, and capacity to govern the same. You will now be invested <coughs> with the insignia of your office. By rule and line, and to harmonize our conduct by the principles of mortality and virtue. The compasses teaches us to limit our desires in every station that rising to eminence by merit we may live respected and God regretted. The rule directs that we should punctually observe our duties, press forward in the path of virtue, and neither be inclining to the right or to the left and all our actions have eternity in view. The line teaches us the criteria of moral rectitude to avoid dissimulation in conversation and action and to direct our steps to the path which leads to immortality. The Book of Constitution. You are to search at all times, calls to be read in your lodge, that none may pretend ignorance of the excellent precepts it enjoins. You will now receive in charge the charter. <laughs> By the authority of which this lodge is held, you are to carefully preserve. And in no case should it be out of your immediate control and duly transmitted to your successor in office. You will also receive in charge the digest of Masonic Law and the bylaws of your lodge, which you are to seek carefully and punctually next year. You will conduct the worshipful master to the east. Master, I've done exactly what you said. I've installed you. 
Verse number 9. Behold your brother. Brother, look to the east and behold your worshipful master.
worshipful master, I present worthy brother Rodney Allen Lee to be installed marshal of this lodge. Brother Lee, you have been appointed marshal of this lodge. Energy, actively and quickness in the procession, the good order of the lodge, and its general assemblies and processions depend upon your care, skill, and assiduity. Possessing these qualities, you have been appointed to this office. You should always be near at the hand to execute the orders of your worshipful master. The marshal will now conduct you to your place in the lodge. <laughs> is the badge of the senior deacon. And the square in the compass with the representation of the moon is the badge of the junior deacon. And these badges of your officers. I entrust to your care, not doubting your vigilance and attention. The marshal will now conduct you to your places in the lodge. <laughs>
present Woody Brother Michael Guy Seeley to be installed organist of this lodge. Brother Seeley, you have been appointed organist of this lodge, and I invest with the badge of your office. to render music during the ceremonies conducted by the lodge. The marshal will now conduct you to your place in the lodge. Preventing the approach of every unworthy thought or deed and preserving conscience, avoidance to offend towards God and towards man. Your early and punctual attendance will afford the best proof of your zeal for the institution. The marshal will now conduct first you to your place in the lodge, which is outside the lodge room. But you can stay inside. The day has, uh, this day has been a long time in the making. <clears throat> a lot of people have played a huge role in bringing this day to fruition. And so there are a lot of people who need to be thanked. At the same time, I also know that uh, there will be a very long day for most of us as we will travel to the various installations around our district. So my intention is to keep this rather simple and short. There are so many I really would like to thank this morning. First of all, I want to thank the men who will be serving with me this year. We have much to do, and I know that each of you will be up to the task uh, that stands before you. So let me introduce each of them, and then they can introduce any of their guests. First of all, our... 